Hey, Mike here, michaelpitluck.com, and this is video 11 of our start to finish building a sales page from scratch video. Uh, I'm using Thrive Architect. If you're interested in the Thrive Themes products, I have a link in the description below this video. I would appreciate it if you go through that link uh, to check out Thrive Themes because it is an affiliate link, and I would be grateful. So we are now... <clears throat> Dialing in some details, uh, but we just finished up driving, uh, finishing the uh, pricing table here. And so along the way, like if someone clicks on enroll now from the hero image of this uh, sales page, then they will be taken right to the pricing table here. And so we have some problem. Uh, we have the solution here. We have a little bit of story transitioning and in, into how I created the product or why I created the project product. We have uh, some testimonials here, some student results. And then here's exactly what you get. And so inside the course, we have the module breakdown. You got a little look inside. We have the full module and the full syllabus. So even the individual uh, videos inside the course. And we have some kind of higher level things that you're going to uh, definitely want to learn as part of the course. Enroll now. And then we have the bonuses. And spent a lot of time getting these right. And then finally, after the bonuses, after the courses, after the bonuses, then it's time to dive into, are you ready to get started? We can have like a closing section in between the bonuses that kind of sums up everything, the, the main promise, uh, what you're going to get, plus the bonuses and all that stuff. But uh, I'm trying to keep it simple for myself. And uh, so after the bonuses, we're just going to dive in because, you know, bonuses are cool. It's a, it's a high moment. It's like, whoa, these are all these extra things that are cool. And so... Um, are you ready to get started? I need to refresh this because in the last video, these, let me refresh this. Hopefully this changes. Okay, there we go. Okay, so cool. And so it has now begun. I'm starting to look at this and I want to immediately start making changes. That's when, when I go quiet, that's what you know what is happening here. So uh, let me just break this down. I don't think I explained this in the last video, but um, basically the way I have this set up is that when you look at both of these, this one you get obviously much more. And this one, you just get this and then everything else that you could get is uh, crossed out. And so it creates the FOMO, right? Fear of missing out in a way. And then, uh, and so that's why this one just kind of looks more attractive, plus the coloring. Um, but, you know, and it looks like uh, you're just trying to increase the order value, which of course you are because you're a business. But um, at the same time, you're kind of losing out because uh, these are real values for the course. So if someone's going to go buy the Ableton template here on my course, it would cost $29. If they were going to buy the Secrets of the Groove course, it would cost $47. But when you buy it in a package way, at the suite level here, then uh, they're going to get all that for uh, that $228 worth of, oh wait, let me see. Yeah. Um, I think this is like almost $300, almost $300 worth of bonus value for like 50 extra dollars. So it's definitely a good deal. So um, next up is just going to be doing the post um, pricing table stuff. And so what we need to do is I've already saved what I want to have from a different sales page. I've already saved that. So I'm simply just going to load it below. And so what we need to do is come and drop a background section at the bottom of the page here. And, and I'm going to drop in a template here. And we need to go to the bottom. Let's try to find secrets of the groove. So... Okay, so I think package deal guarantee. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. This. So we're just going to let that load. I'm not sure. It looks like it is in a um, background section already. So we have a background section in a background section. Let's just fix that. Cool. So now we only have one background section. <coughs> And now what we're going to do is just make sure that it is aligned properly. Okay, so let me jump over here to another sales page of mine. So we have the um, checkout. Let me jump over to some reference sales pages. <clears throat> and uh, let's see, just below the... Uh... All right. So 
So, okay, cool. So just thinking, uh, not thinking out loud though. So I should try to think it out loud. Don't like it, doesn't help get a refund. So let's go ahead and just use this copy here. Um, okay, let's delete this and we'll paste this in. And what we'll do is right align it and let's get the 20. Okay, so don't like it, doesn't help, get a refund, we'll put that in the middle. Okay, so what we need to do is bold, okay, I need to delete the kind of formatting that, oh Jesus, not this again. Okay, so I'm not sure why, but formatting just does not work. For example, it can thrive themes when I hit enter like this, it should drop down to a paragraph tag, but it's not doing that. And I don't know why. So, uh, and for whatever reason, if I select this and move it to the center, okay, good. There we go. That's all I really wanted to do. Let's go ahead and drop that. And let's just do no risk. We'll keep it punchy. And let's move this. Okay, so we need to kind of separate these out. <sighs> Zermelo at zermelomusic.com. And we will just color this one of Google's favorite colors. And this lovely link color here. Color, bam, apply, great. <clears throat> okay, so we have the 60 day money back guarantee. Um, Okay, let's make sure this is 20. Um, typography, no. Okay, 20. What's this? 36. Let's drop this down to 32. That's better. And then we can reveal the 60 day guarantee here. Okay, your questions. Okay, what size is this 58? Let's drop this down to 52. <clears throat> so how is this better than YouTube? Oh my gosh. I think I have another answer for that somewhere. Is it here? Let's see. So I'm going to click this. Okay, let's see. All right. After you sign up, you'll receive an email. Night. Night. You didn't get the mail, did you? Mm-mm.
both templates um, You just so if that's okay. You just can't. Uh, um, <clears throat> guarantee. So if uh, so, uh, if you find the find the courses difficult to follow. Just uh, reach out uh, and uh, request a refund, no problem. Okay. How do I download my templates? Um, your okay, let's go to the toggle main menu. How do I download my templates? We'll get rid of that one. What if I have a template request? What if I don't like the courses? Okay, get rid of the templates. Okay, um, So let's get the license agreement templates. Oh man. And we will go here. Well, that's not even a little bit fun. So I've been editing the wrong page. It's part of the process. Fuck. Okay. So just redo everything. Um, so how do I download the templates template request don't like the template templates royalty free um, let's get rid of this I'll get rid of this get rid of this
Okay. What if I don't like the courses? How do I download my templates? Jello and Sweet level product. All right. So let's make this a little bit more like the other boxes. Let's see. Uh, layout and position. Let's see. We have the content box 600. So is this in a content box? No. So what we'll do is come over here and we'll start dragging things into this content box. The divider um, and the text box here below the divider. And then uh, content box, what we'll do is just this. All right. And so this content box needs to be 600 in some middle. And then the outside one needs to be 700. Just like that. 
So is this one 600? Good. And the text size is 20. Um, okay. And then um, what is the background style here? F9. Um, I think we've been using F2. So a little bit darker there. And then the border, what we'll do is use the nines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Hundred, just one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. All right. Okay. Let's get rid of this text here. All right, and then um, let's see. Next, what we need to do is some uh, testimonials. So let's grab the content box here, layout. Let's do 75. Let's see if there's any margins on this. And let's do 100. Okay. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Why is there even a little space there, though? One I'm just not happy. I feel like this, uh, man, I'm tired. I just ate, so I'm being real quiet. Um, let's see. You know, the thing is, I just don't, um, I don't know. So what we're going to do in those situations is just move on. So what is something else we can do here? And uh, one thing we could do is add in some more proof elements. So uh, I'm going to just move these guys into here maybe let's uh, undo that let's grab the content box here hmm. 
Okay, let's grab a content box here. And I'm going to move this into the content box. And let's get the content box 1000, I think, and then put it in the middle. And then what we can do is get rid of this, get rid of this. We'll get the toggle and put it above. Okay, toggle, we'll put it above here. We'll get the questions, put it above like that. So, content box. Okay. Um, what we'll do is put... I accidentally deleted the content box this was in because I was dragging the individual... Um, elements widgets or whatever instead of the content box so let's get this okay and then uh the content box here let's get rid of all this and let's go to 600 in the middle okay there and then a uh, content box and we'll move the thing down you know by 50 or so okay um and then okay let's get another background section here and this is going to be the more testimonials basically so um we do like more <sighs> um So we need to put that in a content box. And here we go. Content box. Okay, there. And then content box needs to be 600. Put it in the middle. And we'll put this in the middle. Get rid of the... Spacing there, options, 52. All right, and then what we'll do is um, have this uh, different background color. We'll do the F2. All right, and then, okay, so we'll stop it here because what we'll do is get some, I need to go copy some testimonials from a different sales page. So we'll do that. But basically, one last thing we can do really quick, just to kind of basically have almost everything done, is to just duplicate one of these buttons and move it down to the bottom. And that way, after someone goes through, um, what we could do is put one, at the end of the testimonials and then we can also maybe put one down here um, underneath the FAQ and so uh, let's see this is borders and corner no we want layout and position so what's this so $20 or 20 okay why is content box so 20 
Okay, we don't need the 20, although we do need to fix the background. Uh, 15. And then 15, right? And then same with this one. Oh, we did it. Nice. Okay, so student testimonials. So this doesn't have anything around it. This doesn't either. So why is there this space between them? So here's the text. Where's the content box? Okay. So here's the text. Layout and position. Here's the button. There's no padding. There's no margin on top. Okay, so that's weird. Do we need to adjust the... There. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, put the padding around the button. So we'll do 50... And we'll do 50. Okay. And then the testimonials are going to go in. Um, so we'll do 15. And then we have, uh, let's do 50. 15, 50. Okay. And then the toast testimonials are going to go somewhere in there. Um, not sure what kind. So we'll just... Um, Put something like that, and then okay, we'll dial this in in a second. But let's go ahead and figure this out too. So with the toggle box, okay. So the fifty's coming from the content box here. <sighs> okay. Um. And that's all going to take them over to back to the um, to the um, pricing table. And then maybe we can take this, duplicate it down at the bottom. Okay. And what is going on with this? Let's do this. Um, so toggle, let's go to layout and position. So the button is giving them. Columns. Then columns. Let's do layout. Okay, so if this is the image, then where is the space coming from? Maybe from one of these. Okay, so that's where it's coming from. Let's get rid of that. 
Okay, so now the columns should be lined up with a stripe. Good. And then let's fix the image effects here. Turn the saturate down, the invert down, just like that. And then this background section, we're almost done. Let's um, let's do 50, 50. And then if I do 50 on the bottom here, I can take away the 20 here like that. All right, nice. So we basically have everything in place. Um, and now the only thing we need to do is add some testimonials. Then we need to just fix little things. So for example, uh, this needs to be a different image because this is a different course. So I need to make one. Um, I could use maybe an old one, but or I could, hmm, let's see, let's, let's try using the old one. So if I get, um, here, let's do S. Solardo. Hopefully we can get the, ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Um, just synthetic. Um, okay, here we go. And then we'll just drop the image like this. And then, um, put it in the middle. Okay, so I can even, I can either leave it like that or... I can fix it. There's a, a little bit of margin on top of this image. Let's see. Um, let's see how much it is. So if I click on the content box here, so there's 40 there. So if I then come over here and bring this up, so that is negative 25-ish. 25 pixels there. So 25 plus 40. So we need 15. We need 15 pixel margin here to get that to look right. Okay. Okay. So there's that. Maybe we'll do 20. All right. So we have a start to finish Salardo. We have the templates. We have the other courses. And then another thing I need to do is come back to um, some of these testimonials and just clean them up. All right, so the sale page is almost done. It's just getting dialing in all the details uh, after this, just looking it over, uh, fine-tuning things. I, eventually, I want to add in some more image and get some more uh, things to break up the text here, like paragraph headers or just, um, you know, maybe like quote boxes that just pull out things that capture people's t attention as they're scrolling because people not everyone's going to read this probably 10 percent will read everything not even 10 percent way less than 10 percent will probably read every word uh, but for the people that are scrolling having things that just kind of pop out um, is um, a good thing okay so that's uh, it for now let's go ahead and save and preview again we're building a sales page from scratch using thrive architect if you're interested in the thrive themes products i have a link below this video that will take you to the thrive themes website it is an affiliate link so if you're interested if you're interested in the thrive themes product i would appreciate it if you go through that link but so far we're we're nearly there we got it everything uh, almost all set up another thing we'll have to do obviously is set this up to a um, um an offer in kajabi which is what i use to host my courses this is a little uh might need to put a little bit more room around these buttons too 
Okay, that's what we'll do right now, actually. No, nah, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to end the videos. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to do some fine-tuning and um, just try to make sure that it works, do some extra connections, and I will see you then. All right.